Hi, this is part two of the Moto Selection application. In part one, I just uh, did a quick introduction on uh, how that application works or what it's supposed to do. And in this part, we're gonna start building it. And uh, before building the application itself, we have to prepare the data. Now here's the raw data. And I've got like the cylinders, fuel type, power, BHP, etc. And now I've got to prepare the data. Now what does that mean? Well, we have here three parameters which we use in our motor selection process. And uh, I want to have a, what I need is a, is, a, is a field in this data containing those three parameters, basically cylinders, fuel, and power in KW. And the way to do that I'm just going to insert a new field here, insert and cells, and let's call that field lookup key. Now that lookup key must have those three parameters. So basically, let me start down here, let me put here, so let me put it full width, let's align at center, and let's make that thing bold. All right. Now, in order to create my lookup key, like I said, I need those three parameters. Why do I need those three parameters? Because those are the three parameters I need, I use when selecting an engine. So basically, what I could do is I could basically concatenate those three parameters. And that goes like this, equal, I'll take the four, and that, and that. So basically, that's basically it. That's the lookup key. Now, to make the lookup key more readable, it's helpful to have some hyphens in there because this is very difficult to read. So I would do it something like that. Uh, let me let me take that off. Let me take it completely off. Equal that, and then that's how you put hyphens. Don't forget to use double quotes uh, before and after the hyphen because that's a normal string or normal text. Now another and or ampersand, and now I get the diesel. Now another ampersand, open quotations, hyphen, close quotations, another ampersand, and now the power. Okay, so now it's much more readable than before. And don't forget, when you uh, concatenate normal text, always have, have it within uh, double quotes. Cell, cell addresses don't need that. But normal texts, like like you know, like this hyphen or any string that you want to insert in that cell, gets those double quotes. And always, every single building block is is, is separated by an ampersand. All right. Now, this field lookup key also needs for, uh, for it to be useful in the in the motor selection. It has to be sorted. Now, the problem is. This type of sorting, let me just let me just uh, pull it down. There you go. Now, if I sort that field, ascending by the lookup key, I get the twelve cylinders at the top and the four cylinders way down there, and I don't want that. So, just let me undo that. It is helpful to have a leading zero here and here for I mean here a leading zero at the cylinders for cylinders below or smaller than 12 cylinders and here it would be helpful to have a leading zero for uh, power outputs below 100 now how do you do that well there's a function called text function that's a very simple function it goes like this text open now you put in the number, let's let's pick any number, and then you add a semicolon, and now you can fix the format. Now if I want that number to have like to be like to take like three digits, I just put in open quotation marks, zero zero zero, close quotation marks, and then end the function. So you see out of 40 I've done 040. If I add now I have the, see, so that's that's how you can convert numbers into text. The text function 
helps you convert numbers into text and it allows you to fix how many digits or how many digit places do you want for that not for that text version of that number to take so basically what we need here we need leading zeros for the uh, number of cylinders so instead of having b3 instead of having b3 what i need to do is do text b3 semicolon and okay so now it's text i converting b3 which is basically the number of cylinders to two uh, to take up two digits so basically if it's a number smaller than 10 cylinders it will be 04 or 06 or 08 anything above it just be 10 12 etc okay the same thing with the power the power should take three digits, so I'll just do text D3 semicolon and then three digits. And you always have to put that format in, uh, in double quotes. There you go. And now let me just go fill down. And now if I sort it, I'll get the sorting that I wish. There you go. Perfect. You see, I got first the four cylinders diesel, then the four unleaded, then the six diesel, etc. And everything is nicely sorted. Now I'm ready to build my application because the data is now. We've done two things in this video. First of all, we created a lookup key, which basically has all three parameters that we require concatenated together. I took, I concatenated those parameters with a hyphen. You could obviously use anything else that you want. Main thing is that the data is readable. Second of all, I converted the numbers into text for sorting purposes in order to have a decent sorting. Because sorting is paramount in, uh, in our selection process later on.